Okay guys, this is the Key Mom bringing you a nice base tour of the attic. We are currently on day 609 with the attic. Now this is another one of our separated bases world. So in this particular one, we have several different people with several different bases all over the place. As usual, I have my base right as close to the portal as possible so that I can help provide a starter things for anybody who is new joining us, especially during winter, summer months because you know how much fun those seasons can be. Now, with this, um, again, we do have the separated bases, but we also have upper bases and lower bases in the caves. Um, so this is in my base, and coming right into this area, let us go ahead and show you around. There is the chest in the drying racks. Now I've done some building over here, um, working on you know some decorative stuff, clearing some trees, making some nice statues as you can see, some dragonfly and some deer clops. Um, and then up this way is where the geckos and the koala fence are. Originally I had intended to have one of each koala fence, one blue one, one pink one, however, um, as you can see, they have been growing. No, they have not multiplied themselves. <laughs> um, but people bring them to me because we don't kill them. So therefore, we just add them into there. Um, here are the farms and the crock pots and the refrigerator. Here's my bird and my science and, you know, and magic machines coming up this way. Oh my goodness, we have a rot right there. Um, we got some disease going on, so we'll need to deal with that right quick now right here we have um this is the area that i use for people that are new and coming in and has a sign that says you know if you need it take it um and of course our lazy deserter so that we can pop from place to place um with that though it makes it easier if i'm not in my base when people pop in and come to do things then they can just find their stuff there um, or grab some things and go on without having to wait for me to come all the way back to my base now as usual here is our um you know bunnies and spiders now i'll probably do something with the ground here i just have not um i've only been working so far on my path right here here's some bee boxes i have them because they're cute don't actually ever really use them but i like them a lot so i build them <laughs> um and here is my trash can this is my lovely lure plant right here says please do not kill my trash can um i can't tell you how many people have come up here and whacked on it even with the sign there shocking the number <laughs> um coming back down this way is heading towards where my cave base entrance is right there as you can see put a couple pig houses there to protect me from the jerky bats um and then coming right up here this is where everybody spawns in i have things here it says do not dig or pick the flowers um, because what we do is I leave this stuff, the twigs, the grass, the berries, and all of that is here for new players who come in and want to be able to, you know, get themselves started. It's much easier that way if we haven't dug everything up. Um, mom's house this way. It's a directional sign so that they can find their way to my house. My tooth traps are right here very, very close um, to the portal as well. That way if somebody is running around, they don't know how to get rid of, you know, their hounds and so on and so forth, they can easily just pop over to my tooth traps right there directly and know that they're from the portal. So now I'm going to show you guys what I've done with the cave base down here. We've done a few things down here, not a whole big bunch, but um, I'm not going to show you everybody's um, bases at this time. As they continue to work on them, we will do some more updates and I will be sharing them as well. Um, take that umbrella off so that our Tassati doesn't come and kill me. 8% um, y'all, 8%. But this is the cave base that we've done and i've got some farms going on right there got some chests and some alchemy um i've had a couple people build me some shroom plants which is quite nice got some marble going on down here farms and things like that as usual here's the um the crock pots and the refrigerator and then the drying racks um now the only other thing that i have accomplished down here is to put these here this is where you know my trees are for farming and then coming all the way down this way is where I have a spider nest um, planted. There's no bunnies or anything to go along with it. It's just legitly 
a spider's nest um, so that we can farm food and things like that so that we don't starve to death. Um, yes, I have grass traps there. Makes it easier when somebody else comes along and tries to go over there and does not have the, um, the luckiness to have Abigail as a sweet dead sister who will murder things in the face for you. Um, so that's the way that my bases look here currently. Now, I can show you if you look here in the map, we have other bases going on. See, we've got a, a base over here. Um, there's some bunnies, always with the bunnies. Let me scroll this out. And if you look right here, then we have this. This is Awana's base right here. That other one I think is Shiki's base. Um, but these are the bases that we have going on in this map so far. Um, we have another um, lazy deserter, as you can see right over here, because this is where our friend um, Toadstool had showed up. And you know how important it is for us to be able to see that guy. <laughs> and to be able to go and murder him in his face. Now, um, popping back up stairs, let me take you guys this way. And what I'm going to do is I will show you um, some of the other bases that we have going on. As you can see now, this map has a lot more bases going on. Um, there's a big base up there. There's a big base right here. There's a big base right here. There's a big base right here. So we've got a lot of big bases going on um, in this particular world. Now that we've done a few worlds with the separated bases, everybody has gotten a little more comfortable and free at going around and doing the things that they want to do. Now, coming up this way is Al Shiki's base. Um, Al Shiki, you know, as we affectionately call him, Shiki Shiki or Cheeky. <laughs> um, he likes to make his base dangerous for people to come into. As you can see, he has a fencing system right here going around everywhere. He's got pigs. He's got bunnies. He's got bats. He has angry spiders. He also has made a lovely little wall here for um, two of the mandrakes. There are other mandrakes in this world, and he'll be getting them. We're trying to protect them so that things don't murder them. But this is Shiki's base. He made it here with the event. Looks pretty spiffy, in my opinion. There's his drying racks. And as you can see, like I said, he's got some bunnies here that are helping keep the bats away from him because he has his base so closely um, with a, a cave entrance. Now, of course, people have come up there and gotten murdered because of spiders and other crazy type things. So always be cautious when visiting Shiki's house. Now, the next one we have coming down here is going to be Owana's base. Now, Oana's base is huge, y'all. I know y'all saw the, the one that she did that was relatively small for us um, in the, the very first world that we had going on, but now she's gone ginormous, y'all. So she has a section here. That's her tamed beefalo. Um, those were her spiders and her bunnies. Here's her bees and her pigs. She's got the marble trees lining her cobblestone path, which looks quite cute, in my opinion. She's filled in a ton of flowers. Look at that beautiness right there. Um, then she's got the moon dial. She's got some, you know, farms and everything like that. As you can see, she didn't play with us through the winter, so her shrooms rotted. Um, she's been doing the statues as well, which look really cute. And she has a bunch of chests and things over here as well. So see, that's everybody. I really enjoy doing these because everybody gets to share their own creativity with us and we get to see the different styles that different people like to have and do, um, you know, based on their preferences. So when we come down this way a little bit further, this is also going to be her tooth traps, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, tooth traps. Um, so when there's hounds, you know, go get them murdered in the face very quickly. And then coming down this way, this is Kuba's base. Now, Kuba has um, a cute little area going on down here. He lives close to the Pig King. He runs into a bunch of trouble with wear pigs. They come popping up and start smacking and mucking his stuff. Now, you know, we like to keep it kind of minimal. However, Kuba, on the other hand, likes to take it to the very extremes and digs up every bush, twig, and plant in the entire forested area. Um, and puts them in his base. A little, <laughs> little crazy with all the numbers going on there, right? Um, but so this is Cuba's base. Looking really nice as well. 
Let me um, do this so that we don't run into any more issues. I don't want to be, you know, starved to death while I'm trying to show you guys where these bases are. Now, coming down here, this one is Pixel's base, also affectionately known as our very own Pickle. Um, she has agreed to let um, other people who play as Weather, uh, I'm sorry, he has agreed to let other people who play as Weber come and live with him and they are going to do their thing over here in this corner, far, far away from everybody else, so that it doesn't get anyone else, um, you know, murdered in the face accidentally because that would be a dreadful thing to happen indeed. So, coming up this way, as we come back around this way, as you can see um, in the mini-map, the oasis there was right off to the side of Kuba as well. A lot of times he's the only one who stays up above uh, because we don't have enough um, flingomatics for everyone's bases up here. So, we base in the summers down in the caves, which is why, as I showed you my cave base, we have a lot of bases down there as well. Now, I didn't show you all of their bases because that would turn into like an hour-long video just trying to show those and establish those for everybody. But as you can see, this particular world is very huge. And we have a lot of people starting to work on building some really nice bases going on here. So I will bring this to you from time to time. We'll give you updates and some more walkthroughs so you can see what they look like and things like that. Um, as they establish more bases, I will share those with you guys. Now the last base we're going to see is we're going to go up here all the way up to the top and see this one last base up here. Now there are, as I said, there are others, but they are small and works in progress. You know, a science machine here, a, um, a fire pit there, that sort of thing. So it's not really um, well established yet, but as they become so, I will share those with you guys and let you all see all of the cool things and the ideas that people come with. You never know where you're gonna find some inspiration, right? As you can see, we got this is starting to petrify on us. It's been taking so long. Um, down along this little area right over this way is where Luxie is going to be building her base. As I said, you know, she's got like a fire pit and a science machine. That's about all she has right now. But she will be working on that and establishing a bigger base area for um, for herself this time when we play the next time around. Now, coming up here, let me go back because I'm going the wrong direction. Um, this is another thing. This world has a lot of choppy water bits like this and I end up running all over the place and into random different things just trying to get um, to where I'm going and I'll have to look at my map and go, oh, you don't want to go that way. It's not that way, you silly foolish person. So let's get up here and see if I can show you this one last base. This is another thing about changing the settings of the world and making it much bigger. You run into um, a bit of a snafu when, <laughs> when you're trying to show off bases so people can see things or when you're going to visit, which is why on this particular map we have thousands of those lazy deserters everywhere. If there were other people here, I would be able to just pop in and out of bases you know, in a matter of seconds, and it would be so fast and so smooth and so easy. And that's why we build them. But everybody has them so that we can pop around because the map is so much bigger than what we normally play with because we generally just play on default settings. Now, with this one, it makes it easier with the separated bases having the bigger map because then that means that we can have, you know, bases far away from each other and not everybody's based on top of everyone else. Um, kind of like you would have seen in the guest house where everybody started basing on top of one another. See, now this is the rest of the base. Doesn't it look lovely? This is the, the last base, as you can see. Got some chest and, you know, lazy deserter right there. Extremely important, that is. <laughs> Um, and a scalded furnace and stuff. So it looks really, really cute so far, right? Still working, as you can tell. Um, there's some stuff still being built. But that is what our um, current separated bases world looks like, the attic. Um, there's also plenty of room if anybody else would like to join us. This is a follower world, so you're welcome to come and base with us or build your own. It's up to you. Now, for that, so that is pretty much what we've got everything looking like right now. That evil tall bird mama just killed her baby. What a douche. How rude. Anyway, 
So and that was the key mom coming at you guys with some more base touring, checking out all the awesomeness that we can get created around here. And until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Bye, everybody.